What is up, YouTube? It is Crazy Gamer Seven Three Ninety Nine. As you can see, I'm here with yet another Black Ops Two gameplay. Um, carrier with my MP7. Sorry, guys. I just gotta adjust my camera here really quick. All right, so. This is the 52 and 12 gameplay I have been talking about. I am playing on multi team, team deathmatch with two of my friends. Shout out to Riddling Panda and um, XXII Counterlard. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys, I'm using the MP7 customized. And of course, running my spy plane, lightning strike, and stealth chopper. I probably get about like six or seven spy planes in this. I get about uh, three lightning strikes, or three or four, and uh, two stealth choppers, I think. Two or three, probably two. But uh, yeah, guys, so this is a pretty good gameplay. Um, well, it's, it, it's my, I will admit, it's probably my best one right now. That Well, it is my best one that I have on YouTube right now. Of Black Ops 2, of course. But, um, yeah, guys. So, perks I'm running are, uh, Hardline, Lightweight, Dexterity, and Toughness. And, uh, I would really recommend using Perk 1 Greed and putting on Lightweight and Hardline. Um, because Lightweight just, it, I mean, you can run faster, so... Say, this doesn't always work, but say there's a bouncing Betty, sometimes if you're lucky you can outrun it like before it explodes in your face. You can outrun it, which is helpful, um, but otherwise if you can, just go prone as fast as you can. And also, just lightweight, you can escape from people faster if you're, uh, you can run around a corner, turn around and just shoot the guy quick. So that always helps. Hardline. Um, you can just get your score streaks faster because score streaks when you go higher are definitely harder to get. Um, cause you just it doesn't it doesn't really go by kills anymore, which I I found kill streaks easier to get, but score streaks are a little bit harder in my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but uh, hardline really does help. Um, dexterity is helpful. Um, so you can just climb over ledges quick, climb ladders quick, and um, try to get away from someone or just quickly get up to the um, objective you're trying to get to or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's why I like dexterity and toughness. Um, it's helpful because it helps you win gunfights. Like if, because what toughness does is um, you flinch less when you're being shot at, because you know when you're shot, you're, when you're getting shot at, your gun kind of sways everywhere when like, the bullets hit you, well this will stop you from swaying as much, whereas somebody without toughness, when your bullets are hitting them, will be swaying all over the place, so you'll win a lot of the gunfights, um, the 1v1 in your face gunfights like that, um, so yeah, that's why I like those perks, um, and yeah guys, so, um, let's see, multi-team team that match, I'll talk about that. So, I like the, this new multi-team, um, that they added, oh, that's another thing, I said in one of my past videos, Hardpoint was the only new thing they added, and I totally forgot about, uh, multi-team. Um, I really like multi-team, because it's just, like, you can just pick up two of your friends, and you can just play against a bunch of people that aren't even in parties. Well, it's fun when they're not in parties, because then they have no idea what they're... They, they don't communicate as well most of the time. Um, but sometimes it is fun when they're in parties. It's competitive. And I just like that. It's, it's just kind of one of those more competitive things, and I like being competitive. So, yeah, I really do like multi-team. And, uh... Yeah, guys. Um... Yeah, let's see. Alright, let's talk about lethal and tactical grenades. So, um, well, they're not always grenades, they're lethal and tactical slots. Um, so guys, I'm running grenades in this. This is all, that's all I'm running because, uh, pick 10, you know, I run a lot of slots to put other stuff in. But, um, 
I would I wouldn't recommend grenades. I just am using grenades because I'm a low level in this video. I'm like level th well first prestige level twenty three in this Ugh, excuse me. But when you unlock claymores or not not claymore, C fours, when you unlock C fours, if you have an extra lethal, if you have a lethal slot, go for the C fours. Trust me, they're so good. If you know how to use C four as well, um use C4s, they help a lot. Grenades, I just do not like as much in this game. Uh, C4s just don't seem to dominate as much in this game, or not C4s, grenades don't seem to dominate as much as in this game as they used to in past Call of Duties. But, um, I've always loved C4s. Um, I've, I've used them for, uh, I've used them a long time, actually. And I just really like them. Um, so, I, if you don't know it, what makes C4s a lot easier is instead of um, when you throw them clicking RT to explode them when you pull the trigger, that just takes too long. If you throw it if you, and you double tap X, it'll just blow them up. And that's just a way quicker, easier way to just get um, a kill with your C4s. And I really like C4s because um, if there's just like a spot where they're, they're at an objective, they're really good for objective play because if there's somebody at the objective, and you know that they're around that one corner, just throw the C4 in there, blow it up, and you can get triples, quads, doubles, um, so yeah, the pentos, <laughs> um, but I mean, I've got, I just recently got a triple, because I was on raid, and they were in that, oh, this is such a stupid, ah, uh, such a stupid death, um, back to subject though, um, I was on raid, and they were in that parking garage, and, um, I knew they were around that corner by, like, all those cars. If you know what I'm talking about, you kind of understand. Um, and I just threw the C4 in there, double tapped X, and boom, got my triple kill. And, uh, yeah, that's why I like C4s. Um, for tactical grenade slots, um, I usually don't use tactical, my tactical grenade slot. But if I do, I would highly recommend shock charges. Um, especially if you're, like, at an object objective, like, in hardpoint or domination, and it's in, like, a housed-in area, you can just, um, throw all those C4, or the shock charges down, and they're pretty much just, like, um, it, it not only does it just shock people and daze them so you can kill them, it just will let you know when somebody's coming through that door or whatever and coming in to try to kill you and get the objective. So it just kind of lets you know that oh, there's someone coming. So that's why I like shot charges, and I would recommend using those. But um, if you if you don't want to use shot charges or you don't have them unlocked or whatever yet, I would recommend uh, concussion grenades. Um, because I was uh, concussion grenades. I was gonna say flash, but you don't get flash grenades until actually a pretty high level. But um, flash grenades are alright if you want to use those. Um, but I would always recommend shock charges more than anything. Um, unless you really, like, are going for the objective and not planning to camp at the objective as much, just get it and leave. Um, I would use concussion grenades so you can, so those people can't move. And you can just kill them and get the objective and, you know, leave or maybe you are going to camp there. But, uh, whatever. So yeah, shock charges and, um, concussion grenades for tactical. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay, 52 and 12, and uh, yeah, this is my last Black Ops 2 gameplay that I have in my film slot for now, but um, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed this video, once again, this is the second time I said it, but I'll see you guys later, bye.